around the place with a smile on its face. There are four million people from end to end. Streets are so busy, the pace makes you dizzy, but everyone here is your friend. Oh. Hong Kong is chasing them, lots of handmade things and sightseeing squares in the afternoon. Souvenir sellers and old fortune tellers and fairy boat rides and salutes. Harbor of Hong Kong, since Victorian times, an international crossroads for ships of all countries. Today, a single triple-decker ferry boasts an international passenger list of beauties from 72 nations. The contestants are getting their first look at the crisp, modern skyline. Hong Kong makes the ideal international setting for an event dedicated to fostering world peace and understanding, the 1976 Miss Universe pageant. Contestants plan to make the most of Hong Kong's duty-free status. A cornucopia of goods from all over the world. This is a shopper's dream. The girls move through a whirlwind of international fashion. Some designed in Paris or New York, but all made here. Precious jewelry, intricately hand-fashioned to adorn a delicate wrist from Argentina, or perfume for a graceful neck from Suriname. Soaring jet foil skims the waters to Macau, a Portuguese colony and world gold market only minutes from Hong Kong. Part of the fun of being a Miss Universe contestant is playing the tourist and seeing new lands through the eye of a camera. The strangely out of place style of Portuguese architecture in this oriental wonderland makes an exotic backdrop for memorable photos. And ladies so accustomed to being in front of a camera relish the opportunity to get behind the lens for a change. Back in Hong Kong, the girls board a sampan in the floating city of Aberdeen and pass the afternoon to the click crack of Chinese mahjong tiles. It's a lot of fun, but a tough game to master, even with the help of a Chinese expert. Always alive, Hong Kong really glistens at night. Time for dinner and entertainment at the Miramar Theater. A delicious meal and authentic Chinese opera are equally appreciated after a long day. Everyone loves this form of Chinese vaudeville show, a classic Hong Kong attraction. Of course, some prefer a more contemporary diversion. Disco, the old and the new are equally at home here, and the movements of the opera dancers easily coexist with the latest steps of the hustle. What could be more logical after being on your feet all day than to dance the night away? And where else but Hong Kong could an Australian girl do an American dance in a Chinese nightclub to a band from the Philippines? The next day, it's dancing to a different tune, the rhythmic click of camera shutters, as the international corps of press photographers immortalize their favorites for newspapers and television around the globe. One beauty from so many will be selected by the press photographers for the Miss Photogenic Award. A hard choice for even these sharp-eyed newsmen. But such hard work requires energy, and that calls for Hong Kong's famous dim sum lunch. Dim sum means hearty lunch, and delicious too. If only the tasty morsels could be maneuvered by a girl used to a knife and fork. But chopsticks are the Chinese way. 
Fortunately, some of the Oriental contestants give ample instruction to those from the West. The giving of gifts is a Miss Universe tradition, symbolizing the spirit of international sharing and goodwill that permeates this harmonious contest. During the pageant's opening ceremony, the audience gets its first look at the colorful national costume, while each contestant brings a gift representative of her national culture to the people of Hong Kong. The Miss Photogenic Award is announced. It's Miss England. The choice of the international corps of press photographers proved to be an immense crowd pleaser for a Hong Kong audience mainly comprised of loyal British subjects. The next day is one of natural splendor as the girls explore Hong Kong's vast new territories, right up to the border of the People's Republic of China. The girls discover that the new territories are really a slice of old China, as rural families lead lives far removed from the bustle of Hong Kong and essentially unchanged for hundreds of years. The timeless wonders of motherhood cross culture and language barriers as Miss Germany and Miss Indonesia meet a charming peasant girl, Shin Tzu, and her new baby. The beauty of the new territories is Hong Kong's greatest surprise for the visitors. In these mountainous greenlands, one would never suspect that a thriving metropolis is so near. Great forests abound, canopied in green and dappled with sunlight. The famous skyline of the city provides a dreamy background for the next day's videotaping of the contestants in swimsuits. The 2,000-foot-high summit of Victoria Peak provides the perfect angle for shooting. Subtle and delightful variations of feminine grace from nation to nation are modestly displayed in the contestants' official Catalina swimsuits. The videotape records every aspect of this event to be included in the international telecast of the pageant. Poise and physical beauty are important, but these are only the most obvious attributes the contestants bring with them. The really essential aspect of the pageant competition comes later in the evening, as a distinguished panel of judges interviews each girl individually, looking for that beauty of character that is more than skin deep. Of course, it takes character to judge character, and a sampling of the pageant judges includes some of the key personalities of our time. Dame Margot Fontaine, an internationally renowned prima ballerina with a long career of achievements in dance. Ex-pro football player Fred Williamson, who has risen to prominence in Hollywood as a writer, director, producer, and fine actor. Don Kingman, world-famous artist, displayed everywhere from the Metropolitan Museum of Art to the cover of Time magazine. David Newbigging, international business figure and senior managing director of Jardine Matheson & Company Limited. Lorinda Bolkin, international film star from Brazil, winner of the coveted David Adonatello Award. Prince Henri d'Orléans, eldest son of the Count of Paris and advisor to the late General Charles de Gaulle. The contestants' moment has arrived. The pageant is telecast live from Hong Kong via Atlantic and Pacific satellites to an audience of over 500 million. The Miss Universe pageant provides a common ground where international representatives meet and share positive experiences for all the world to witness. The pageant is unique in this. And after 25 years, the pageant philosophy is still rooted in the truth of our common humanity, embodied in these beautiful young women from so many different lands. They come here to win, of course, but more importantly, to simply participate in an experience that emphasizes and celebrates their overriding similarity. National Costume Award goes to Miss Peru, 
Presenting the trophy is Harold L. Glasser, president of Miss Universe Incorporated. Now the swimsuit competition for the 12 semi-finalists. In this, its silver anniversary, the pageant has become a truly international event by following the Miss Universe creed to further the cause of peace, justice, and mutual understanding, and to uphold the bright ideals of sportsmanship, friendship, and goodwill among all the peoples of the universe. Scandinavian actress, linguist, and accomplished equestrian. Roman Polanski, internationally renowned film director. Run Run Shaw, Hong Kong filmmaker and founder of Shaw Movie Town. Dr. Aldo Gucci, Florentine designer and director of the Gucci fashion empire. And Margareta Arvidsson, Miss Universe of 1966, an internationally acclaimed Swedish fashion model. Personal appearance is an outward sign of inward character, and the evening gown competition represents to the judges the taste and character for the individual contestant. Each girl has selected a gown which she feels best reflects her own personality and is most appropriate for this evening of evening. The judge's decision is based on an inward sense, for there is not one among these who is not beautiful. It is a difficult decision, but a decision of the heart, not the intellect alone. The judges are moved by the total presence of each contestant, the feeling she radiates and gives to the audience. judges are making their final decision. Miss Australia, fourth runner-up. Miss Scotland, third runner-up. Miss Wales, second runner-up. And Miss Venezuela, first runner-up, Miss Israel, Rena Messenger, is the new Miss Universe for 1976. Israel at Sivion in 1956. Rena Messenger is an ardent scholar working equally as hard at modern dance. And for recreation, she's a qualified glider pilot. A new queen has been chosen, an international queen reigning over an international city. The silver anniversary of the Miss Universe pageant closes. Like the magical cosmopolitan city of Hong Kong itself, the new Miss Universe is a beauty for the eye to behold, with an inward beauty reflecting the human dream for international peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. 